Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I do these audio casts that used to be called Magic and Mayhem, what I discovered is that I was talking more about mayhem than any magic of God. And every once in a while, I get a chance to say something really positive about my experience with people who profess the name of the Lord, but honestly, I don't see much of that. I think some of my best experiences have actually been with metaphysicists, spiritualists, and, well, Wiccans. Sorry, folks. That's the way it's at. But if you're trying to prove yourself in front of the house of God, I would highly encourage you to put yourself down on your knees, put yourself down in front of an altar, and start praying for you and for me. But in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about illness. And while we are living in a time of pandemic, epidemic that we've seen many times over the history of mankind, we have to really get to know that there are people who just don't get what these illness times are really about. Most people don't associate it with the possibility that God is pissed off at the world for forgetting him and forgetting her and forgetting Jesus and forgetting all the ages and sages and angels around the world. At the same time, we have people who think that COVID was just a fluke accident and not something released by man trying to kill us out of our own home, and that may not be true. But at the truth of life, we also have a situation of illness, where people are trying to take advantage of this illness by collecting poop and pee samples, samples from people that they don't have one right to take it from, and the person doesn't even know they're taking it from. But at the same time, we have people that are conducting themselves in illness thinking they have the right to abuse someone's life, gossip about someone's life, interfere with someone's life, stalk someone's life, use technology to abuse someone's life, did I say that already? And openly to interfere with the future of someone's life. 